It's a bit of a struggle for him, but offensively here again, the little pump fake gets into the paint, the little teardrop in overtime. That was a big play for the Nets. All right, so for Kyrie again, 26 points, and over his last five, averaging 29 a game, shooting at a 54% clip from the field, and about five assists per game. Let's hear from Kyrie with the media post game. Hey, Kyrie, when you reflect back on this game and what it took collectively to get the win, what jumps out at you in terms of what you're most proud of? Uh, just our fight. You know, obviously throughout the whole game, there's runs that, um, you know, just got to be able to withstand. Teams are going to throw a lot of things at us. The flow of the game, call-wise, can go either way. Uh, so we just want to stay resilient. Um, and just stick to what we know, and that's just playing basketball at a very high level IQ-wise, um, giving each other space and, and just respecting each other's greatness, um, and then also just having a relentlessness to continue to weather the storms throughout the game no matter what's going on, um, making shots or not. So yeah, it's definitely what I'm most proud of. In total team effort, um, in regards to the big three, it's been five years since we've seen three Nets teammates score at least 25 points in the same game. Uh, you guys have been talking about wanting to see James Harden be James Harden. Um, how did it feel seeing him get loose and being aggressive early in this game? I mean, that's who, that's who he is. You know, we, we just want him to, you know, come into this group and not so much think about fitting in, but just, just being who he is. We, we want him to continue to progress and grow, and I think – all of us realize that we still have a level to get to, uh, you know, individually and then collectively as a group. You know, I still play this game to continue to get better. Uh, you know, I haven't mastered anything at this game as well. You know, no matter what people call us great or anything like that, it's just we humble ourselves to know when we go out there, zero zero is all we're focused on going out there and leaving out there on the floor. Christian Winfield, New York Daily News. Hey, Kyrie, what's it like? In transition, when you've got Kevin, James, and then sometimes you've got Joe trailing behind the play, just like how hard is it to, for, for opposing teams to get a stop on you guys in transition? Is that another reason why you guys need to shore up the defense of them? Because when you can create those turnovers, you have so many mismatches when you get out and run? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, I think we definitely played to our strengths tonight with having, uh, you know, that capability to be able to space out the floor with, you know, everybody, whether it's Kevin going one on one, whether it's me going one on one, whether it's James or, you know, anybody else that's out there, we, we want to give each other space to thrive. And, you know, sometimes giving each other space doesn't mean just standing around waiting for the ball either. It just means being active uh, and giving, you know, your teammate the, the best opportunity to uh, make a make a play. And I just try to put myself in position all the time and, um, and then also put my teammates in position uh, with my voice. Just positioning. Greg Logan, Newsday. Uh, Kyrie, uh, you and Kevin got a little blow at the start of the fourth quarter, and and the bench, which only had four points up to that point, came alive in that 16-4 run. How big was that to uh, helping you guys, you know, get through the fourth quarter the way you did? Yeah, no, it's a total team effort out there. You know, we're only as great as you know we all come out and execute. So you know to see. You know, a lot of our guys come off the bench and, and give us a, a lot of much needed energy, uh, sustained uh, the lead and, and even took the lead at a certain point throughout the game. So you just give them credit. And I'm, and I'm grateful to have teammates like that that come in and just leave it all on the line because this is a good Hawks team. You know, we could have folded at any point throughout this game. And um, our bench definitely in the fourth quarter had that, that mindset to be aggressive and, and stay um, in the fight. Mike Andrews, ESPN. Hi, Kyrie. Uh, Steve has said that the high uh, 30s, low 40 minutes isn't ideal. It's not where he wants to end up for you and and Kevin and and James. What do you want to see kind of work out with other players on this team? You guys have talked a lot about your depth to make it so that maybe you guys aren't taking so much of that brunt and playing so many minutes. Yeah, I think I think Steve's just trying to find a happy balance. Um, you know, obviously we're we have experience in, in terms of years in the league, but you know, I'm heading into the prime of my career. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's, I, I tell Steve like, "Hey, man, like just just let me go out there and uh, you know, just let me loose." And uh, like I said, we just find a happy bil a balance of uh, being very communicative with each other um, and just being up front. And just following the game plan that we all agree to before we go out there. And, um, you know, it's easy to play your role when, you know, guys are just out there just playing, matching your level. 
uh, which has made it makes it easier to go on the bench. You know, I'm, I'm happy to be out there getting a the rest sometimes. And, you know, I've struggled in my career, uh, just wanting to be out there logging long minutes. And early on in my career, I had some injuries where I was just like, man, this is too much. And now being with guys that, uh, you know, in this present time that are able to keep the lead, sustain it and, and do what they do out there. Great. Let them rock. Brian Lewis, New York Post. Hey, Kyrie. I'm curious with with regards to James and him being him getting more aggressive as this is going on. Um, and you talked yourself about defensively the way you guys are coming together. Does that all kind of come down to trust in the end? I mean, that you would trust that he trusts that nobody's going to get, I don't know, jealous if he's aggressive or that if you guys are playing defense, you have to trust somebody to help the helper. Mm -hmm. I mean, doesn't that all come down to communal trust that you guys are building as you're going? Yeah, I, I mean, number one, I think that's a great foundation is trust uh, to build any great team. Um, you know, that, that, that definitely takes a lot of patience. Um, and then also we, we have to do it with a, a sacrifice and a compromise as well. You know, it's not, I'm not compromising anything by, you know, what people would say, allowing James to be James, you know, James is going to be James. My thing is, whenever I'm out there is to compliment him and, and the same thing with Kevin and everyone else is just, we want to compliment each other. Well, so envy and, and jealousy, you know, as, as young men, definitely emotions or things that you could get caught up in. But at this point, we don't want to take this for granted. We know this doesn't happen often. Very lucky, very grateful to be playing with guys that let, you know, that have this much experience in our all, all world players. And I could get blue in the face saying that. Um, so we just take it one day at a time, bro. One day at a time. Really, we're human. So there's going to be days where, you know, things go right and things don't. Last question, Bruce Beck, NBC New York. Kyrie, following up on that a little bit, you really attacked tonight the teardrop in overtime, the shovel pass to KD. Is there more opportunity to be aggressive with defenses, having to worry about two other talented scorers? Very great observation, brother. I mean, you know, it, it only raises my level. Uh, because there's space, you know, there, there's definitely um, an understanding of where we all want to attack the defense and who specifically on the other team we want to attack. You know, the, the end of basketball games in the NBA usually end with pick and roll and end with ISO basketball going against the weakest defender. And we, we just got to be able to, to play on both ends uh, with that same effort and we'll be okay. So, you know, let's wait and see what the next 10 games hold for us. And like like I mentioned before, just taking it one day at a time. Well, Frank, a lot of talk uh, there about the shooters being aggressive, yeah. the big three. They're obviously, we know they're great players. They're clutch. Be interesting to see, because even though they scored 89 combined tonight, that they probably haven't clicked on all cylinders yet, how that manifests itself. Because they can't all three shoot, but then you look at a guy like Harden tonight, 15 assists, so they got to kind of pick their spots. Yeah, right? but I think Dur uh, Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving had no problem once James Harden joined the team and the three of them were playing together. I think it was more of a James Harden issue.